I'm Chris McLeod. I'm a cardiologist at Mayo Clinic. I'm also an electrophysiologist, which is a heart rhythm specialist, and I specialize in treating arrhythmias in adults who have a history of congenital heart disease. The congenital heart disease syndromes are multiple, and it could be a small hole in the atrium, a small hole in the ventricle. They can be complex with tetralogy of Fallot, single ventricle. They're really a long list of these, and no one congenital heart syndrome is typically the same as another. And so each patient who has a history of congenital heart disease really needs to be treated differently from those patients who have a normal heart. The first very common misconception in this area is that patients who have undergone surgery for congenital heart disease when they were young, they have not been corrected. We think of them as having undergone repair, and the repair has addressed a primary issue, but never corrected. Their heart is never going to be corrected back to normal, and it may be very close to normal, and they may, not, may never have any further issues. But a common misconception is that the heart is corrected. We think of this as the heart is repaired, and the most important thing that these patients can do, instead of waiting for symptoms to present, is to follow with a regular adult congenital cardiologist. The presentation of some of the arrhythmias and some of the hemodynamic or blood flow issues in adults with congenital heart disease, the presentation can be really subtle. And it is extremely difficult for patients who have grown up with a heart defect, who have always felt a little bit subpar, to suddenly think, well, this is normal and that's not normal. If you've always grown up with a defect, you've always expected your exercise tolerance to be a little less than your classmates, to be a little bit less than your colleagues. And so your perception of illness is always different. And so not relying on yourself to identify these subtle changes, and they can be so gradual that they very often are missed, but rather to have an adult congenital specialist follow on a regular basis. That adult congenital specialist is 